here today trying the Laura Fawn essential oils for the mindful horse and rider and this is Snickers and we are going to show you his reaction um, and how well the equine aromatherapy for pain due to strain or injury oil blend works on him and his back injury he has some kind of strain or like mild injury in his back oh oh ah, ah. thank you and it causes a little bit of pain for him it kind of tends to flare up back up please thank you and at times that means that he's not rideable and at other times it means that he is it really just depends on if he's having a good or a bad day um, when we first noticed that he was having some back pain um, we were massaging his his back area and um, he would tr try to escape the pain and kind of flinch whenever we would touch or massage it um, the area that was causing him pain and he has a really great reaction um, to this oil blend so I, I hope I'll be able to show you <laughs> So to start, I'm going to uh, mix the oils gently by turning this upside down a couple of times. And I'm only going to use, oh, back up, back up, back up. I'm only going to use um, two or three drops and rub them in my hands to warm them up and mix them. We've only used this one time on him before and he really enjoyed it <laughs> that one time. So I'm excited to see how this time goes as well. Does it smell good? <laughs> He's trying to eat my hands. <laughs> it smells really good to him. Those are my fingers. And a lick and chew is really great. Um, it means that he is releasing and taking it all in and processing it. Every time he licks and chews, it's a really great response. just heard his belly make a really loud noise and another one One of the horses that I've used this on that seems the most interested in smelling it um, more than just the massage aspect of it. Good, that's nice. And he has started settling into it a bit and just gently breathing it in. Stay here. he turns away I am interpreting that as him processing it a little bit because I've seen a few of our other horses do the same thing and then come back for more like he just did he's not trying to lick or eat anymore and his eyes have become really soft doesn't generally try to eat your fingers like he did at the beginning there 
Um, he is very food and treat motivated, but he's not pushy about it. Um, that was definitely part of his reaction to the oil. He really, really likes it in general. Is it good? That's another good looking shoe. He's processing a bit. He calmed down a lot since the beginning. I'm gonna, that's nice. Him lowering his head like that is another release. Good boy. <laughs> Those are my fingers. Come back. And I'm gonna just continue to massage his back some more. Come on. There we go, good boy. Was another really nice release. Back up, back up, back, back. Good boy. Good, good boy. He's checking in with me. Another release. That's really nice. His head is nice and low and soft. He's really relaxing into it. And I am not a professional equine massage therapist. I'm just massaging his back as I would um, as a horse owner because I am one. <laughs> you are so dirty. I would say he has settled into it really nicely. Good boy. He just checked in with me again and took a second breathing it in, smelling it from my hand some more. Back. Back up. Good boy. All in all, I would say this oil has been really successful for him. Um, we will be able to tell um, along with it an immediate response, which we have seen from him um, with lots of processing and relaxing into it, which is not normal for his personality. Um, but also over the next couple of days, um, we should be able to see a nice response. I don't wanna rub your face, but I do wanna rub your face at the same time. <laughs> And it has been colder recently. Um, usually his injury tends to flare up when it is a little chilly out. Um, so I'm really hoping that um, we will see um, some improvement in the next couple of days while it is colder out. It's nice that he has stayed so calm. Good boy. There we go. Good job. This is the oil that I used on him. It comes in a bottle about this big and I have, um, I believe something like 50 uses in them. <laughs> um, and I used three drops um, on him and his back as well as um, the aromatherapy for him to smell it in and breathe it. Um, and I'm really excited to see how he continues to respond to it. Every time I bring out the bottle, he gets really excited. <laughs> Um, Bella Rafano essential oils for horses. They're amazing.